Good day, this is Teacher Riza, and this is our lesson 11 in general mathematics, one-to-one -one functions. With learning competency, represent the real-life situation using one-to-one -one functions. And at the end of this lesson, you are expected to determine if a function is one-to-one -one and identify a real-life situation using one-to-one -one function. In our previous lesson, we discussed that function is a relation where each element in the domain is related to only one value in the range by some rule, and one-to-one -one relation is a function. Also, many-to-one relation is also a function. Since one-to-one -one is a function, what is one-to-one -one function? A function is one-to-one -one if every element of the range of f corresponds to exactly one element of the domain of f. For example, we have f of x is equal to square root of x, which is one-to-one -one function because every element in the domain corresponds to one element in the range. While g of x is equal to x squared is not one-to-one -one function because an element in the range corresponds to element in the domain. That is, the same y value should never be with two different x values. So therefore, a function f is one-to-one -one if no two elements in the domain of f corresponds to the same element in the range of f. This means that each x value must be matched to one and only one y value. For example, the relation pairing a real number to its square. Note that each real number has a unique perfect square, thus the relation is a function. However, two different real numbers may have the same square for negative 2 and 2 which is positive 4 and negative 3 and positive 3 which is positive 9. So therefore, the function is not 1 to 1. Now the question is, how 1 to 1 function represent real life situations? Now let's try to determine whether the following examples are 1 to 1 or not. For example, we have the relation pairing an SS member to his her SS S number. Note that each SSS member is assigned with a unique SSS number. Also, two different numbers cannot be assigned to the same SSS member. Hence, the relation is a function and it's a one-to-one -one function. Another example, the relation pairing an airport to its airport code. We have an example of airport codes. M and L for the airport code of Ninoy Aquino International Airport here in the Philippines. Another example is JFK, which is the airport code of John F. Kennedy International Airport in New York City. And take note that airport codes are the letter codes used to uniquely identify airports around the world and prominently displayed on check-in bags to denote the destination of these bugs. Since each airport has a unique airport code, thus the relation is a function. Also, since no two airports share the same airport code, then the function is one to one. Another example, the relation pairing a person to his or her citizenship. Note that a person can have dual citizenship, like she or he can be a Filipino citizen, at the same time American citizen or Canadian citizen. So citizenship is not unique. So therefore, this is not a one-to-one -one function. The relation pairing each learner to his or her learner reference number or LRN. Each learner is assigned to a unique learner reference number or LRN. Further, note different learners have the same reference number or LRN. 
So therefore, the function is 1 to 1. Now, how are we going to determine from the equation if it is 1 to 1? If function of x sub 1 is equal to, function of x sub 2 implies that x sub 1 is equal to x sub 2, then f is 1 to 1. For example, g of x is equal to 2x plus 1. If g of a is equal to g of b, which implies that a is equal to b. For example, we have g of a is 2a plus 1 from 2x plus 1 and g of b from 2x plus 1 is 2 times b plus 1. Then 2a is equal to 2b. So therefore, a is equal to b. Since a is equal to b, then g of x is 1 to 1 function. What about in a graph if it is 1 to 1 function? A graph of function can also be used to determine whether a function is 1 to 1 using a horizontal line test. Remember that we use vertical line tests to test whether the graph is a function or not. Since we're going to test if it is 1 to 1 function, we're going to use the horizontal line test. What is a horizontal line test? A function is one-to-one -one if each horizontal line does not intersect the graph at more than one point. So that means the horizontal line should intersect the graph at only one point. And all one-to-one -one functions satisfy both the vertical and horizontal line test. For example, we have here the graph of a rational function using or drawing a vertical line it intersects the graph at one point so therefore it passes vertical line test then using a horizontal line intersect the graph at exactly one point so therefore it also passes the horizontal line test since both vertical and line satisfies the test so therefore the Answer is one to one function. Now it's your turn. Determine whether the following example are one to one or not, then explain why. Okay, so we have here the graph. So what's your answer? Okay, so if we're going to draw a vertical line, it intersects at one point. So from vertical line test, so it satisfies. The vertical line test and drawing a horizontal line it intersect at exactly one point so it also satisfy the horizontal line test since both satisfy the test so therefore it is one-to-one -one function so you're correct or by using a horizontal line it intersect at exactly one point so therefore it passes the horizontal line test so it is one-to-one -one function Another, so we have the graph using a vertical line intersect at one point. So it passes the vertical line test. Using a horizontal line, it intersect at more than two points. So therefore, it does not pass the horizontal line test. So therefore, it is not a one-to-one -one function. Or we can just simply use the horizontal line since it intersects at more than two points. So therefore, it does not pass the horizontal line test. It is not a one-to-one -one function. Another example is using a horizontal line. It intersects at exactly one point. So therefore, it passes the horizontal line test. So it is a one-to-one -one function. Another example, using horizontal line, it intersects at two points. So therefore, it does not pass the horizontal line test. So it is not a one-to-one. -one. Another example is we have books to authors. Because books can have multiple authors, so therefore, it is not one-to-one. -one. Another example we have, 
SIM cards to cell phone numbers. It is one-to-one -one function because every SIM card corresponds to only one cell phone number. Another, we have true or false questions to answers. It is not one-to-one -one because a true or false question has only one answer so it is a function However, a true or false answer can correspond to multiple questions. Then we have a set of ordered pair here. So you're correct, it is a one-to-one -one function. Because every element in domain corresponds only one element in the range and vice versa. Another set of ordered pair. Okay, so you're correct again, not one-to-one. Because the range 1 corresponds to negative 1 and positive 1 in the domain. Then another example of set of order pair. Yes, it is 1 to 1 function. Because every element in the range corresponds only one element in the domain. So for your activity, you're going to answer this in a separate sheet of paper. You just simply write Everest. Identify if it is one-to-one -one or not from the given set of ordered pair, table, a mapping, or our diagram. Then we have also a graph. Just simply write one-to-one -one or not. And also identify the following. A real-life situation, if it is a function or it is one-to-one -one or not. Then, for your reflection, you're going to write your insights and learnings you have gained in these topics. And that's all for this lesson. Before we end, let me share this quotation. We only have one life and one body to care of, and we better do it right. You never know what tomorrow may bring, and so we better live this life the best we can, and be grateful for everything we have. Again, this is Teacher Riza or Mom Rice saying thank you for watching and always practice personal hygiene protocols at all times. Please keep safe and stay at home. Please don't forget to subscribe to at least achieve the 1000 subscriber. Thank you. Have a nice day.